Hey guys, this is Naomi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I am gonna go through a little bit of myself, a little bit of a story time. And uh, yeah, I haven't done a video like this, so I think it's gonna be quite interesting because my life has been quite a journey, let me tell you that. I never went really deep on it and make a total video based on it. So that's what I'm gonna make this video right now. And yeah, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Women who loves to work out, eat healthy sometimes because I like cheap meals too. I care so much about mental health and, and mindset because I've been through stuff, I've been through a lot that I had to learn how to, you know, program myself to love myself and to, you know, have a different perspective about what life is. And that's why I love to take care of myself and that's why I love working out and I love to share my story and share my progress and my journey just to get inspired because it motivates me as well when I inspire others. So that's me. I'm gonna share a little bit of, you know, my childhood because that's the seed of everything in life, I believe. You know, our childhood has a lot an influence in our lives like you know the people around you your parents your family society your friends and everything you know everything has a huge impact in your future life once you're a kid for real like your childhood means so much how your life is gonna look after that so in my childhood I didn't have the best experience because I used to be overweight and I used to be extremely bullied and now that I think about it it's just like it was not easy for me at all and it even brings tears to my eyes. I have some pictures of myself being little, but not many because I destroy them all. And I remember like when high school or like those pictures that they take like after you graduate and all that stuff. And then you're with the classmates and they, they give you a picture. All of those pictures, I destroy them all. I remember that I got a scissor and, and like get rid of my face in the picture. I deleted all the pictures of myself. I'm crying because it's like, girl. That made me grow so much. That made me understand a lot of people now. And why am I crying? Okay. When I was a kid, I changed my hair because I was being bullied by it. It was tough. My mom made a decision as well that helped me change it. I used to get home crying every day because people would like grab my hair while I walk on the, on the school, you know, like when there's like breaks and stuff like that for lunch and everything, people would like grab on my hair. And they were like bullying me and calling me all, all these weird names because I was overweight and I have different hair than most of the people. I was really different than most of the people at my school, so that's why I used to be bullied a lot. Yeah, I had destroyed every single picture. I was hating myself in another level because of society, because that's the program and the mentality that people put in me, you know? So I believe that was not good enough. I saw myself on the... On the <laughs> Bless you! <laughs> I saw myself on the deepest hole, black hole in my life in such a young age. That was like a joke. I'm not kidding. It kind of sounds like a movie, but I was being bullied really bad. And then it hit me. I got really strict with my diet, which it was another mental breakdown, breakdown, breakdown. And it was another lack of self-love. And I was being so extremely strict and eating just salads and not caring about myself. And just like, I just wanted to lose weight and just, and I, yeah, I mean, I did lose weight like this. And emotionally, I was not in the right place. That is not the way to lose weight. I mean, I cannot say that I regret anything in life because somehow it brings me where I am today and somehow I learned a lot from it. But if I could like tell myself, hey girl, that's not the way to lose weight, I would like be like, oh really? Like I was searching on the internet and there was all of this info, you know, crazy diets, you name them. So of course I was looking at all of that and then I followed them and I was doing all of these things and I was extremely strict and everybody was so worried about me, extremely worried. I was like 15, 16 when I started losing weight like that. Cause I was still getting bullied at my 14, 13, 12, like all my childhood, all that age. I was starting to, you know, like growing up and, and being 16, 17, I was like, no, I need to like lose weight, okay? I cannot be overweight, I cannot continue being like this, like I did not like myself. So I was trying to, you know, get a solution. So that's what I did. Just eat salads and do lots of cardio, which is not the answer. No fats, no carbs, and I was, it was crazy. Everybody in my family was extremely worried about me. And I was not, I was like, oh, stop, I'm doing the right thing. Like you all wanted me to lose weight. Like, so I went to both extremes. So that's why I understand both outlooks. That's why I understand 
both. Like, that has a reason, you know, everything happens for a reason. Right now, I live a balanced lifestyle. That means that I balance my meals and I balance everything and I take care of myself, my inner peace, my mental health so much because it's extremely, extremely important. Like that transformed my life, but I'm gonna go back then later. Like, let's continue the story because I'm losing it. I'm losing it. She's right next to me, my cute baby. I found her in the streets in Costa Rica and I got her here with me. She goes with me wherever I go. I was sick. Mentally, I was sick. And I was so negative still. Like it didn't it didn't heal anything because you know what? The work I needed to do wasn't here. Okay, life it happens after two, three years of being like that. It hit me and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try something different and uh, I need to do something with my life because I was very negative and unhealthy. So I went through a process and I started to like take care of myself and invest time in trying to heal and study. I used to wake up at 4 a.m. even because I remember that I was trying to learn how to like wake up early and do all these things in the morning to be successful and all that stuff. I was, I was experiencing that world. It was new to me. I was like meditating, studying neuroscience, and studying about the mind and, and mindset, and meditation, and spirituality, and reading books and, and watching documentaries, you know, like learning and learning and learning, and it completely transformed my life. I remember one night something clicked and I was jumping in the bed. I was like, I will never be the same. And I was like so happy, like on another level. I still remember, still remember that day. I started just like meditating saying my affirmations i was focusing so much on how to like learn how to do it and how to reprogram my mind rewire my mind to love myself and to have a different perspective and outlook about life so it was quite an amazing journey i changed my perspective i had about my body and i was just like more of soul and myself the perspective i had about food changed i was not being strict with my food i balanced them more and I started working out more, but I like lifting weights and, and doing different things and find myself. Like, I did not know I loved working out. I loved the feeling and pushing myself to become better. When you're working out, you're pushing yourself to, you know, to like, like finish what you started. It's just a great feeling and a great outlook. It's not just a physical thing. I was so passionate about it that I never stopped learning. I, I always was studying and still I am and that's why I made it my thing. I started to get a level of confidence that you guys have no idea. I even cried so much and like, it makes me wanna cry right now because I never had that confidence before. I, I hated myself and, and now like, knowing how to build that confidence and knowing how to build that discipline and self-love and, and, and how to like do things that makes you happy is the best feeling ever and that's why I'm extremely grateful of that state that I went through to try to heal and trying to focus on myself. When I was 19 years old I started to go to the gym more and then I moved with my mom to a place called Ubita. It's a beach in Costa Rica and there was no gyms there. And I was working there too. I had a job, a nine to five. So it was very difficult for me to go to the gym because there was no gym. Um, but I was craving going to the gym. And I remember that I was still in my state of like finding myself. So I was like craving going to the gym. And I was like, mom, like I was, I remember telling mom, mom, this is like, there's no gyms here and everything like that. So again, I was doing just cardio, body weights, workouts, but I want to lift weights. I remember looking at workout videos and I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> with all these machines and dumbbells and barbells and I look at that and I was like mm, I want that so three to four days a week I decided to drive two hours back and forth to go to a really good gym with machines and, and dumbbells and barbells and kettlebells that's how my fitness journey started and now I moved here and I started working out more I never stopped working on myself never it's a never-ending thing when you work on yourself and your mind and try to heal yourself and, and, and take time for yourself to you know have a positive outlook, to, to be more powered, to feel confident, to be self-loved, and all of these things, it's a never-ending thing. It's a lifestyle. And that's why I made mindset, fitness, and health my major thing, especially mindset, because it is extremely important before
for starting any healthy and fitness lifestyle, any journey, any goal that you have, you have to go through your mindset first. You have to see what your mind is it first. You have to see how do you feel with yourself, your beliefs, mental programming. All of this stuff matters a lot. Like building the discipline, building the habit. You need to take a deep look at yourself and discover yourself and try to heal whatever negative belief you have about yourself because that's what happened to me. And that never changed until I started to focus on myself, heal myself, and try to rewire my mind to start loving myself, loving working out, and loving everything about my life, life itself. Yeah, so this is where I am right now. I have worked on my own projects and my own business. I even have like goal setting mindset. This book, it's a really life changing book. This is practical, like the secret that helped me build my lifestyle. My knowledge and everything that I have learned, I implemented. I did it like very simple so a lot of my girls can understand. And wrote it and made a really small book telling exactly how they can start a healthy fitness lifestyle start by building the habit and the discipline first so yeah this is a goal setting mindset simple and easy to read you can read it like twice three times or multiple times so you can implement it and you will learn it better so that is it thank you so much for watching this video if you watch it till the end that means that you care and thank you so so much for watching it means the whole entire world because your time and energy means a lot to me so thank you and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a video. That is it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till the next one.